it's me, your slightly trashy, somewhat entertaining YouTube host. I'm Rebecca, and I'm back with another video. Shocker. Um, yay. Okay, so, as I said in my previous, or somewhat previous video, which was the update one, I have been really interested in learning tarot, and I wanted to kind of do a series of me learning tarot and you guys along for the ride. Basically, this series is just going to be kind of like, um, if I can get it. This series is just going to be my interpretations of the tarot cards and their meanings. Some of them will be similar or the same to the actual meanings. Others will be different. I am trying to relate myself and connect myself to the tarot in a way I understand. So, you know, if it doesn't match up to how you see certain cards, that's fine. Just talk about it below in the comments. Just tell me how you see the cards, uh, how, you, how your opinion differs from mine or how it's the same to mine. You know, just a little bit of conversation. Also, I've been waiting for a couple of days. I wanted to do this series with this tarot deck. It is the AE Weight tarot deck. And this one has like the Chinese letters, I believe, or like the Chinese wording on it on front. So they look like that. But they're super holographic looking and all like super shiny. I cannot, for the life of me, or at least at this time, I have not connected to the traditional writer tarot deck just because I need like my brain needs pretties I need to see pretty things I need artwork on all of my like cards whether they're oracle or tarot and the writer ones are just too plain for me like I get bored with them <laughs> so as of right now I do not have the writer tarot deck just because I feel like it's really boring looking but for these, you know, they are the basic imagery of, I believe, the writer tarot deck. Except they're shimmy and they have like a black outline along them and I love them. <laughs> I just love them. So, if you ever have the opportunity to get this deck, get it. It's like, I want to say 12 or 13 bucks on Amazon. I just think it's so pretty. Sorry, the AC is going to be on. I know it'll be a little bit louder now, but bear with me. So, ooh, some of the shimmy is starting to come off on this already. I will say that if you are going to get this deck, beware, like, some of it, if you see on the top, it's starting to, like, the borderline starting to come up a bit after a couple rounds of shuffling. So beware of that. For me, not that big of a deal, but, you know, some people might be upset about that. So, yeah. Now that I'm five minutes in talking a bunch of shit, <laughs> let me actually get into the video. So, today we are going to be discussing The Fool. If I can get a... Yes. So, we're going to be discussing The Fool, which is the start of the tarot in the Major Arcana section of it. Um... So this card is usually kind of traditionally seen as like a good card, start of new beginnings from what I understand, um, really like embracing like just new things altogether, not really worrying about possible dangers, just kind of jumping in head first from what I understand. So if you have a different point of view on that, please put it below in the comments. Uh, for me, the first thing I think about when I look at this card is anxiety. Like, straight up anxiety. For me, I do not like new beginnings. I hate them. I hate new beginnings because new beginnings bring new things I don't know, new things I don't understand. It's a bunch of new shit that I have to look out for because if I say something wrong, if I'm wrong about something, like, that's a big uh, shadow for me. I really do not like, um, I don't want to sound like an idiot, you know, that's a big shadow for me is I really like to try and sound as educated as I can. <laughs> if I can, I just don't want to be 
portrayed as an idiot. And the fool to me makes me think of an idiot. Like it's someone who's just starting off on their trail. They're just starting off on their path. They don't know shit yet. It's like first day of school stuff. You're going in as the freshman in high school, all giddy and ready to go. And then, you know, after a while you realize, oh, wow, this kind of sucks ass. And, you know, that's kind of why you have like the whole senior or like upperclassmen kind of making fun of the freshman class because they're all like new to it. They're all giddy, ready to party. But in reality, like it's school, <laughs> you know, it's not that amazing. I mean, obviously you get an education. Anyways, yeah, like it, it's just you're over like overexcited. You're kind of naive. That's how I feel about it. So whenever I look at this card, I just think, well, you're stepping into something new and you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. That's how I feel about this card. I also took notes, so don't mind me looking below. Oh yeah. So I looked up I looked up this one website and I don't remember the name of it, so I will put the name of the website right in the link below so you guys can check it out. It's kind of like if you have a restriction with one of the tarot cards, which starting off first one, I should not have had a restriction already, but here I am, first card into the fucking deck and I already have restrictions with it. Uh, basically, this website kind of helps you get to know the card a little bit better and understand why you have restrictions with it and how you can move forward into making an interpretation with the card in an actual reading. So go check that out if you have the same issues for one of your tarot cards. Like, it doesn't have to be the full, it could be any of them. And it'll help you kind of work through how you can perceive the card in a reading, which I thought was great. <laughs> I wrote down a quote of like what, what I associate a quote with this card. And the quote that came to my mind was a long way to go. Like you have a long way to go. You don't know what you're talking about sort of thing, right? You still have a long way. <laughs> and keywords for this card I wrote down were new vibes, not knowing and frustration because I get frustrated with being new to something. Uh, also, I've been writing down kind of like characters or like certain things that remind me of each card. And so for the full, I think of the jester character, kind of like, so you know, like a jester that, um, is literally the fool for the king. He does a bunch of goofy stuff or whatever. It looks like an idiot <laughs> sometimes. Obviously, they're forced to do it in that situation most of the time. But uh, as a character in the whole, the jester's supposed to be like kind of, he's supposed to be funny, supposed to be doing goofy things all over the place, which is kind of what the fool relates to me. It's like you're doing funny things, but only because you don't know any better that that's not the way to do it or whatever. So it makes me think of the jester. I remember this part is like, what does this card make you feel? <laughs> and I wrote down, I feel like the happiness in this card is a lie. Like inside of him, there's fear. Like, I just feel like he's lying about uh, being happy. Like inside, he's freaking the hell out. But I think that's just because that's how I feel with new beginnings. So happiness is a lie, everyone, <laughs> to start off with. Uh, from there, like, that website I was using helps you kind of go through it, right? So some of the key notes that I wrote down were, without new things, we can't discover who we are. Not knowing means there's always more to learn, which is true. Oh, and I also wrote this. So if you watch, like, one of my first freaking videos and I can't remember which one it was in that I talked about it or even if that one is still up I might have taken it down because it might have been trashy but in one of them I was talking about how in my path if I can get you to see there we go so uh in one of my old paths in my old paths in one of my old videos I was talking about how there's the whole journey of the mountain and you're like where am I at here? You're like, I felt like in that point I was at the bottom and just starting to make my way up. And the, the climb is so annoying because you're sitting there and you're like, oh, I still have all this way to go. 
And this is where you want to be at the top. You want to be like the enlightened. You want to be the knowing, the um, expert, the whatever this mountain is to you. The fool is at the very, very bottom. So this is like the world card up here to me. This is the freaking fool. And for me, the bottom of the mountain is not a fun place to be. Usually this would be like a card that says like, oh, kind of like enjoy the journey. Like, no, <laughs> for me, this card's just frustrating. And it's like, I am mad that I have to look all the way at the top and see other people at the top of it. Like, I'm not mad that they're there, but I'm just mad that I'm not there with them, you know? Like, I haven't already made that journey yet, and it's a frustrating thing. So, the fool, frustrating for me. <laughs> um, what else did I write down? So, I also put, being frustrated means I'm passionate about the subject or situation, which is true. Whatever journey that I am on in when I, whatever journey this card will be talking about, whatever situation, I will be very passionate about the journey, the place that I want to be at. It's just hard to do first starts. That's the problem. But being frustrated means you're passionate about the situation, which is really good. Doing new things means sometimes you fall on your face and that's okay. The Fool is not a bad card. It's just frustrating for me. Let's see what else. So I also wrote down as well, um, like specific thing, like for specific readings, what it could mean. So I put love, career, and life as three separate ones. For these, I just all, I put new on everything because basically it's just new beginnings and whatever. So to me, it's pretty, it's got a pretty similar for, and a similar meaning for like any situation. So, um, the number zero on it to me means like you haven't done anything yet you're still at the bottom you're still sucking ass and it sucks <laughs> reversal meaning so for reversal I put it could mean restricting the change or new beginning restricting the start of a new journey so since like I feel restrictive about this card I feel like that's what the reversal would be like this card is literally upright position is like you do have a journey you need to go on and the meaning of the card is like you are on this new path you need to try and enjoy the journey enjoy the journey enjoy the fall downs enjoy like to me this means like you need to try your best to enjoy whatever new endeavors you're getting into because it could potentially be a fun path even if you mess up sometimes reversal to me would be restricting those things you need to do restricting yourself from enjoying the new path restricting yourself from being able to even do the new path the new thing whatever it is uh restricting your start of whatever journey you need to make so yeah the full i also wrote as a last bit oh let me just make sure yeah I also wrote for the last bit because it kind of has you, that one website kind of has you go through everything. I wrote, the fool has a long journey ahead, so might as well enjoy it while on the path. Don't give up. You can fall down, but don't give up. So this card is essentially like, even though new beginnings are hard, don't give up. And yeah, that is my interpretation of the fool as of right now. Of course, this interpretation can change in the future, so don't hold me to that if I believe something later on down the line. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one, whatever it may be. So I'll catch you then. Bye.